The current migrant crisis is straining the resources and economies of U.S. border cities, and now they're looking for help from communities and organizations from across the country. One group in Omaha, Nebraska, has been doing what it can to ease the burden of El Paso, Texas, after officials said the city had been stretched beyond capacity. El Paso accounts for 20 percent of all illegal entries at the U.S. southern border for fiscal year 2023. Border Patrol agents apprehended more than 425,000 migrants who crossed into El Paso, marking a 38 percent increase from the previous year. The city had to set up emergency overflow shelters and house thousands of migrants in local hotels. Eventually, it reached a breaking point. Well, in the last 30 days, we have sheltered over 16,000 people that might have been out on the streets in El Paso. Wow. And we've also provided over 40,000 meals. But we've kept people off the street because we want to make sure we treat people in, in the right manner. The majority of these migrants are awaiting deportation hearings, some of which could be years away. One Texas-based shelter sought assistance from Omaha to provide temporary accommodation and support for these families while they make arrangements for their immigration legal proceedings. Omaha Welcomes the Stranger, established just a year ago, was created in response to the significant increase in asylum seekers in El Paso. We received a, uh, an inquiry from a man by the name of Ruben Garcia at Annunciation House who said at that time uh, he works in El Paso, Texas, and he said that there were numbers of people coming across the border that were much greater than the local shelters could accommodate for temporary hospitality and asked if it would be possible for us to receive some of those people, asylum seekers, here in Omaha and give them a temporary place to stay while they made their arrangements to go to other parts of the country. Last year, Omaha Welcomes the Stranger welcomed 39 asylum seekers who arrived by bus from El Paso with a focus on assisting families, including parents and children of various ages. Margaret and I uh, volunteered in 2019 and 21, and so we became familiar with the process at the local shelter in El Paso and saw the faces of the people. Uh, I think that's one of the, the interesting things. Once you've talked to the people and you've seen them face to face and you've seen their children and you think, those children don't look a whole lot different from my grandchildren. Or, and why shouldn't they have the opportunity to have a safe place to live? Recently, more families are coming from Venezuela and often lack friends or sponsors in the United States, making the support they offer even more crucial. According to the El Paso City website, Venezuelan nationals comprise 70 percent of the migrant population. Well, if the need arises for us to take a larger group of people like it did a year ago, <clears throat> we're prepared to do that. And we have a network of volunteers who have agreed to help us. For migrants seeking permanent residency, they believe that many would be more than willing to fill employment roles if given the opportunity. I think it's, it's important to realize that our country was built on the concept of immigration. And we have all of these jobs. As you drive down any street in Omaha, you see a sign that says, we're hiring, help wanted. Um, we think there are a lot of people who would be more than happy to fill those jobs. So. Uh, we try to do what we can to, to place people in situations where they can do that. The impacts of migration on small cities are intricate. Omaha Welcomes the Stranger represents a small-scale, privately funded initiative aimed at providing support to asylum seekers. The organization is currently helping six families during their immigration process. And Horty says they're ready in case they're called on again. We're prepared to take a few families, as many as we can, and try and help them find places to live and work in Omaha.